Hi, I'm Albert Armea, and I'm here to show you this. Now you're probably wondering, what is that? Well, let's look what it's made of to find out. There's a laser, and then there's two mirrors connected to these two stepper motors, which are then connected to an Arduino for control. So in essence, it's a laser projector. I first built this about, la about a year ago for a class called Instrumentation and Automation. We etched the circuit board from scratch, and then we soldered on all, all of the components. When we first soldered all the components on, it was a lot more basic than what you see here. You, there was just these eight transistors, these eight diodes, and, and some other random stuff that you need to get the, just get the stepper motors working. And we were actually so cheap that we didn't have a dedicated stepper motor controller to use. So that meant we had to do everything in software, which was really annoying because all we, all we had available to use, to, all, all we had available to use to program in, was this language called GW Basic, if you could call it a language. It's this dialect of Basic, which Microsoft came out with in, approx in the 1980s. And why don't I show you what it looks like, just so you can see how old it is. Look at the copyright. It's, all, it's 1983 to 1988. To write code in, you have to actually put in line numbers, like this. And then to run, type run and hit enter. And it just keeps going on and on and on and on. The language was pretty limiting. You couldn't even define functions. Any kind of variable scoping was out. None of that cool stuff that we take for granted now. So for the first year or so that I had this, really wasn't able to do very much with it because I didn't know how to program in anything else. That's when I decided to get the Arduino, which I, used, which I now use to control it. So why don't I show you the clock program that I have running on here on the Arduino. So first you gotta power it up. There's a little port in the back for that. And I gotta shut off the lights. Now if we look up here, it's asking it's asking to set the time. That's necessary because the Arduino does not have a real-time clock. So let's set the time over USB serial interface on the Arduino. So I have to find the USB cable, which is over here. Plug it into the Arduino, and run the synchronization program. You should see this thing say the actual time, which Yes, I know it's ridiculously late. Soon afterwards, I saw a YouTube video of someone connecting a potentiometer to the Arduino. I connected one, too. I was wondering what I would be able to do with it. And then I saw someone run Pong on the Arduino. It was on either an LCD or on a TV, both of which are already proven display technologies. I wanted to run it on this. So figured, why not? But I'm going to have to upload the Pong program to it. I'm actually going to move this down so that we can see it, so that we can all see this clearly. And there you go. It's actually paused right now, but... So, to unpause, I didn't actually put a switch on it or anything. I just have a jumper wire connected to ground, this thing. So to unpause, put the, plug the jumper wire in. So it's controlled by the pots. You move the, you move the uh, bats or paddles, however you want to call it, with the pots. And that's basic. And yeah, that's basically it. 